Something impossible has just entered our solar system. A frozen messenger from the darkness between the stars, racing faster than anything the sun could ever hold. Bigger and stranger than Oumuamua, more mysterious than Borisov. In July 2025, astronomers confirmed the arrival of 3I Atlas, only the third interstellar object ever discovered. And this time, the world was ready. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to Quantum Leap, your home for the biggest cosmic mysteries. Because stories like this one, you won't want to miss. For centuries, comets have terrified and fascinated humanity. They streaked across the sky with glowing tails, and ancient cultures saw them as omens of doom or change. But until recently, every comet we knew was bound to our sun. That changed in 2017 with the discovery of Oumuamua, the first confirmed interstellar visitor. Then in 2019 came 2I Borisov. Now, in 2025, comes 3I Atlas the third. Astronomers knew almost instantly that this wasn't a normal comet. Its eccentricity, the measure of how stretched its orbit is, came out to an astonishing 6.2. Anything greater than one means the object is unbound, destined never to return. 6.2 is far beyond that threshold. Atlas wasn't just wandering, it was charging straight through, on a hyperbolic path that no solar system body could follow. And then there was its speed, 58 kilometers per second. That's the fastest interstellar object ever observed. For comparison, Earth itself races around the Sun at 30 kilometers per second. Even Voyager 1, humanity's most distant spacecraft, drifts along at only 17 kilometers per second. Atlas is blazing almost twice Earth's orbital speed, fast enough to cut through our solar system like a bullet through glass. Imagine it, an ancient shard older than Earth itself plunging past the sun, carrying the chemistry of a world orbiting a distant star we will never see. At first, 3I Atlas looked like a diffuse, glowing cloud. Early guesses placed its nucleus between 10 and 30 kilometers across, a monster by comet standards. But when the Hubble Space Telescope zoomed in on July 21st, the truth was stranger. The solid core was no giant at all, likely no larger than five kilometers wide. The brightness came from a massive surrounding coma, a bubble of gas and dust that dwarfed the nucleus itself. And yet, something was missing. There was no tail, no long streamer like the kind most comets sprout when warmed by the sun. Three eye Atlas glowed, but it did not streak. Why the difference? Part of the answer came from the instruments that observed it. Hubble, invisible light, showed the fuzzy glow. The James Webb Space Telescope, sensitive to infrared, could see cooler material and trace faint gases invisible to Hubble. And NASA's brand new SphereX Telescope, a unique instrument designed to map comets in infrared detail, revealed the strangest part of all. Atlas's coma wasn't driven by water, like most comets we know. It was powered by carbon dioxide gas. This discovery shocked astronomers. In our solar system, comets typically wake up when sunlight heats frozen water in their nuclei. The boiling water creates jets of vapor, dragging dust with it to form a coma and tail. But Atlas was different. Its coma was dominated by carbon dioxide. On August 6th, the James Webb Telescope confirmed the result and added nuance. Webb detected faint traces of water ice, a whisper of water vapor, and tiny amounts of carbon monoxide. But carbon dioxide ruled the show. Atlas wasn't acting like most comets we've ever studied. This chemical fingerprint matters. Because interstellar comets are time capsules, they are fragments of planetary systems forming around other stars, frozen relics billions of years old. Everyone that enters our solar system is like nature hand-delivering a sample from another world. Think back to Oumuamua, discovered in 2017. It was tiny, elongated, and completely baffling. It showed no visible coma or tail. Its trajectory even hinted at a small, unexplained push, sparking speculation about alien technology. To this day, Oumuamua remains a mystery. Then, in 2019, came Borisov. Unlike Oumuamua, 
It looked like a classic comet, volatile rich, gassy, and fresh. It seemed like a newborn comet, freshly ejected from a Kuiper belt around another star. Now, in 2025, comes Atlas. Its CO2-dominated activity makes it more like Comet Hartley 2 in our own solar system, an older comet that vents bursts of carbon dioxide but little water. That suggests Atlas is an evolved object, aged by countless journeys through interstellar space, not pristine like Borisov, not depleted like Oumuamua, something in between. Three interstellar visitors, three stages of cosmic evolution. Oumuamua showed exhaustion, Borisov showed youth, Atlas shows maturity. Together, they form the first rough sketch of how comets live and die across the galaxy. But the story of Atlas is far from over. It is now plunging toward its perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, expected at the end of October 2025. At a distance just inside Mars's orbit, Atlas will heat up more than ever before. Scientists are waiting to see, will it suddenly vent stronger jets of water vapor? Will a faint tail finally emerge? Or will carbon dioxide remain its only driver, proving it is a hardened veteran of space? There's a catch. During perihelion, Earth will be on the far side of the Sun, making direct observation difficult. But in the weeks before and after, telescopes worldwide will track every flicker, every change. If deeper water ice begins to sublimate, it could transform before our eyes. If not, Atlas will stand as proof that many interstellar comets are survivors, stripped of their most fragile ices, yet still alive with chemistry. Naturally, the big question comes up. Could we send a spacecraft to chase Atlas? Sadly, not this time. At nearly 60 kilometers per second, Atlas is moving far too fast for any rocket humanity has today. But scientists are thinking ahead. The European Space Agency's Comet Interceptor mission, launching later this decade, is designed to wait in space until a fresh comet, or maybe even another interstellar visitor, is discovered. Then, it can be sent on a collision course, ready to fly by and study it up close. And even more exciting, the Vera Rubin Observatory, soon to begin full surveys, will scan the sky every few nights. Astronomers expect it to find dozens of interstellar objects every decade. That means Atlas isn't a once-in-a-lifetime event. It's the start of a new era. This time, with enough warning, humanity could be ready, not just to watch, but to meet a traveler from another star. Imagine it. A probe landing on the surface of a body that formed around a distant sun. A spacecraft drilling into alien ice. A sample return mission carrying fragments from another star system back to Earth. Science fiction? Maybe today. But within our lifetimes, it could become reality. Atlas is more than just a comet. It's a messenger. Each interstellar visitor carries the fingerprints of alien chemistry. Each one tells us how other planetary systems form, what materials they produce, and how they evolve. For the first time in history, we're not just imagining exoplanets, we're studying their building blocks directly. From a faint dot in July to a fully profiled interstellar comet in August, Atlas has already changed the game. It proves we're entering a golden age where visitors from other stars will not be once in a century, but once every few years. Every one of them brings us closer to answering the ultimate question. How common are worlds like ours in the galaxy, and are we alone? So the next time you look up at the night sky and see the Milky Way stretch across the darkness, remember, right now, a messenger from another star is racing past us, and more are on their way. What do you think? Should humanity prepare missions to chase down the next interstellar visitor? Let me know in the comments. And if you love exploring the mysteries of space, don't forget to subscribe to Quantum Leap, because this is your space.